Welcome to Have You Heard. This is the performance segment of the Monica Grant Show, brought to you by Young Boss Media and Z Trek Headphones. Today's artist is Cecil Parker. He's a mix of a little Marvin Gaye, Al Green, and Bruno Mars, with a little Michael Jackson, DeBarge, and Usher. Here you have a Grammy nominee, Mr. Cecil Parker. A wealth of singing, songwriting, and performing talent all wrapped into one. From the streets of Philadelphia to an athletic scholarship at a major university to becoming one of the most exciting live acts performing today and everywhere around the world. But he's here today with me. So without further ado, welcome Cecil Parker to the show. See 
and we'll be back with more of Have You Heard. Welcome back to the Monica Grant Show. We are here with performing artist Cecil Parker. Now, he just performed two amazing love songs. Well, one was a love song, one was a dance, get, get down on the dance floor song. But before we go into the final performance, we want to get to know Mr. Parker just a little bit better. How you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Awesome. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate you. It's my pleasure, Monica. Anytime. Awesome. Anytime. Yes, I will call you back. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Keep your line open. <laughs> so I wanted to get to know a little bit about you. Tell me, how did you get started performing? You know, it, it started by accident. I was in college on a track scholarship. I was notoriously shy. Everybody knew it. And this is the truth. I, I tell the story all the time. The uh, theater arts majors were putting on a show, and there was some downtime. My friends pushed me on stage to watch me freeze like a deer in headlights, which Aww. I did, but I snapped out of it. And you know, they had the band, the lights, and the singers. I think I sang, uh, I'm dating myself, I sang the B-side of a Jackson 5 record. Uh -huh. And you know, each of the elements start kicking in, and next thing you know, we're doing this thing. So when I finally got done, everybody was, yay. Now, I don't know if it was because it was a good performance or they were glad it's finally over. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, you know, the, the light went up in my head, like, I wonder if I could do this. So I told everybody from that point on, if I wasn't, you know, uh, in class or if I wasn't competing, I got to catch up on this singing thing because right. I'm starting late here and uh, haven't looked back since. Now, you're from Philly. Yes. I feel like being an R&B singer from Philly, people would not lie to you <laughs> oh, if no. you were not talented. Philly don't lie. <laughs> Philly all. don't lie. Can you speak about what is it like being in that environment in Philly and so many greats have come out of Philly? It's, uh, it's all around you. Mm -hmm. It's all around you. So that's kind of your gauge. You know, you always have something to compare with, you know, some something to, to stylize against. And so so and because you have that all around you, you kind of always know where you are on the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the what the ladder, right. if you will. And uh, having that all around, y you learn so much. And, and the key, I think, is to never stop learning, no matter how high or how far you go. Once you stop learning, once you stop being a sponge, mm -hmm. to me, you're on your way backwards. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't matter how much money you make or whatever, there's always something to learn because there's always somebody that can do it a little bit better right. than you. Maybe they're not as famous, maybe they're not as wealthy, maybe, you know, and so on. But as long as you keep learning, you keep growing. That offers you an opportunity to stretch. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Can you speak to a younger generation of artists that would love to have your longevity? I'd say, uh, once again, learn everything you can. Mm -hmm. Because the key to longevity is being able to do more than one thing. So if you are, for an example, if you are the hottest red on the planet, what happens if there's a taste for green? Mm -hmm. You can't do that because you only know red. So you have to try and do everything. So when it comes to gigs, what kind of different gigs can you do? You know, to get your voice out there and, and build your chops up. And then you're prepared for any and everything and definitely learn the business. Probably should have said that first. Yeah, I love that. Biz so. The business first. Yeah, definitely. Can you tell us what do you have going on right now? What's coming up for you? Uh, Working well, the new dance single is out now. Now see me, and that's mm -hmm. doing really well. That's the first one you performed. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's doing really well. I like that. And oh well, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And uh, we're working on the new album, which is called okay. Songful. And, Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you, thank you. I don't know if I, I mentioned it. when I leave here, I have to go back to Philly because we're in the studio tonight to try and uh, catch up with our schedule with getting it done. So it's going pretty good. Awesome. And, and the feedback so far on just the demos are pretty favorable. So when we'll are you looking to happens. release? Uh, hopefully next month. Okay, good, good, good. good. Hopefully that's awesome. what we're shooting for. But you don't want to sacrifice creativity Quality. to, to yeah. you know, reach a deadline. No, I but get it. Uh, we're shooting for next month. Awesome. And where can people find you? Who? Spotify, SoundCloud, Facebook, Twitter, Etraman319. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm everywhere. Just look for my face. Everywhere where people are. I love it. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks you. for having me. Awesome. Now, it's not actually it's it's time for you to go. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna let Mr. Parker, Mr. Cecil Parker, do the rest of the work. He has been an amazing performer today, and so I'm so grateful for you being here. And I'm gonna let you take the show away. Thank you, Monica. Awesome. so strong but sometimes a hero comes along y'all got this yes, i know y'all got this yes, brothers and sisters brothers and sisters it's up to me and to you we got your back up to me and to you That is our time. Thank you, Young Boss Media, Z Trek Headphones, Cecil Parker, the Indie Collaborative, Eminent Studios for making this all happen. Thank you for watching at home, and we will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>